Let's make a video. I'm on Needles Highway. It says I'm six miles from my campground. And I'll show you what Needles Highway looks like in, uh, what is this? It's September, I know that part. 26th of September, oh geez. Okay, we'll do this and let him through. Iron Creek Tunnel. This one isn't bad. There are three tunnels in our immediate area here. Six in this part of the state that I know of. <laughs> and we've met them before. Having the lights on seems to be a good idea. Are my lights on? Yeah, they're on, but I can't see them in here. It's too bright outside. No problem with that one. The next one's narrower. <clears throat> no, I do not have the scamp behind me. I probably would have made it through that one. The math and measurements say it would make it through the next one. But it's not a perfectly straight tunnel. You'll get a look of, uh, is that level or is that not level? Well, no, it's not level either. Needs to be aimed up a little for what we're driving into. There we go. Where was I? I got distracted. To drive the full length of this, probably Needles Highway would take about an hour. I hope to do this video in about 20 minutes. And that's way long for my videos. My window is down. Hopefully that wind noise is not doing too much to my audio. I like to ramble, and if you weren't along, I'd be talking to myself. So thank you for riding along. We're running under 25 miles an hour right now. That's the speed limit here. There are places where I'll be able to get up over that. There are places where you better be crawling, or you won't make it around the hairpin turn. Oh, here comes the glare. As much as I've scrubbed on that windshield, there will be glare. We're driving into the sun. And I have a black fabric laying on the dash to help with the reflections, but uh, it's not working any wonders. I'm good at working wonders, but I don't control where the sun's shining from. I hope you're seeing it better than I am through this windshield that's glaring. I came through here last night, I think probably more later than this, about an hour and a half later. I thought we, uh, three, coming up on four o'clock, I think, in the afternoon. The sun was low and bright, and there were times where people were completely blinded going around corners. Really nasty. A few weeks ago, I wondered why I was coming back to South Dakota again. Now I know. Great to be out here. The Needles Tunnel is ahead, that's an experience. And the scenery is as well. Cluster State Park on the west side of South Dakota. And there we are hanging it off the edge again. As long as I don't fall off the edge, I don't mind. already come a mile and a half. Not bad. 
and that beeping is my APRS tracker. The Scamp also has a tracker. That's a, what is that? Can't remember what that one is. <laughs> Something I pay for it every month. I don't remember what it is. We are actually headed northwesterly towards Sylvan Lake Campground. What a campground! I am going to buy better wheel chocks, I know that. I was really nervous on hooking there. Twenty miles per hour we keep dropped down to. That's that's fast on some of these corners. Being the night before the Buffalo Roundup, you can bet the traffic will be heavy on here. Excuse me, Bison Roundup. I'm sorry. Oh, a little bit of shade, that's nice. Coming into some needles now. If I were to have stumbled onto this video, you can bet I'd be watching it at one and a half speed. I'm an old guy, I don't have time for dramatic pauses. When you finish this, do me a favor, look up the song, When Did I Get Old, official version. And maybe it'll help you through life too, the way it's helped me. That song, and the team at Mayo Clinic, and God uh, have kept me alive a lot longer than I thought I would live. What a life. This is what makes it great, places like this. Wow, where are we at? 3.3 miles from the campground. We're gaining, trust me. And thanks for riding along, otherwise I'd be talking to myself. always felt that anyone that said they didn't talk to themselves were either lying or wacko. Oh, let's slow down for this. This is why I aimed the camera a little higher. Look at this. And we just met a bunch of heavy traffic, but that may have been caused by the tunnel. Depending on how this processes when I upload and how uh, it looks when you download, I may be going too fast anyway. We're under 15 miles an hour. No one behind me, I can get away with it. We have a hairpin coming up here that's really interesting. I was there earlier today taking stills that I may or may not have use for later. I do a personal calendar every year and uh, that's where the stills get used. All right, grab clips out of these videos. doesn't look too bad, does it? I 
don't have much time to look at the monitor. And here we go again. Look at that skyline. Sometimes there's a white spot just where you need it. Are we still recording? Oh, where's oh 2.3 miles now. And we're 11 minutes into the video. Are we going to keep it under 20 minutes? We may. If you can hear that engine, we're in tow haul mode in a V6 F-150. 2016, I don't own anything then. Well, I'm sure testing the edge of that pavement a lot. Get ready. What's around this corner? Oh, cars. Thank you, God, for making this possible. No camera is going to do this justice. I don't care what you do. You have to be here to experience it. Here's the rock wall I told you about. That's where I dumped my boiled eggs off the seat coming down. Oh, well, them heavy duty parts, they take up more space. You maybe couldn't see them, but I got a good look. One point eight miles to go. Oh, and I'm watching a chopper fly over me. I wonder what those flights cost. More than I'd ever pay, I know that. I'm cheap. I'm frugal, excuse me, I'm frugal. I've driven this several times, I still don't know what we're getting into. I can't wait to go home and watch this, actually. Then I can watch it and not worry about what we're running into. When I go to the Bison Roundup tomorrow, I will go in the other way to end up at the south viewing area. I watched it from the north last year. It was great. Uh-oh, is this the tunnel? No. Or just stop, maybe. You can wait with me. I wonder if the tunnels are on that corner. There are two on this stretch we're riding right now. Or maybe just someone was taking pictures. It's understandable out here. You meet people here and enjoy your time with them. It may be a few minutes, it may be an hour, and you never see them again.
Or maybe some of them will see this video and say, I remember that idiot in the cat hat. Yes, an idiot with a cat hat. Are we still recording? It looks like it. And 1.3 miles to go. We are not making very good time, are we? It's not the object of this trip. We're running about 15 miles an hour now, which is not bad under these conditions. Wildlife Loop was a lot slower this morning. Between the burrows and the buffalo, that road was closed. I like the side-by-sides, and I could use one at home, but, well, maybe I couldn't justify it. I already have a Kawasaki 650 that's a, a real worker for me. I have even pulled small trees and skidded large ones with it. Back before I owned my Alice Chalmers tractor. Ah, here we go. Low, narrow tunnel, and... Um, who wants to be first? Take a run at it, it'll fit. With eight foot zero, nine foot nine, and when I told her my truck was eight feet wide, it's a mirror, she said, fold him in. But now he is not folding his, and he's just as wide. Uh-oh. Oh, he has folded him in. All right. See, this is not perfectly straight. That's where people get into trouble. When they do the measurements and then they think they're driving through. And I've been told they've pulled a few out of here already this year. Of course, we're late in the year. Oh, we're the entertainment. Are we the entertainment? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep, I guessed right. We were the entertainment. They didn't hear any scraping sounds, though. Eight tenths of a mile to the campsite. If I can uh, get where I can look at the screen, I may stop the video before we get there. Jeez, bright sun again. Uh, I can't tell where we're at. We're coming up on 20 minutes, though. And you've seen what you get into on Needles Highway in Custer State Park in South Dakota. Far western South Dakota, really. Ah, oh, some more turns and curves. Let's record that before I hit stop. One half mile to the campground. Absolutely beautiful. Few fall colors. You don't get a lot of fall colors when it's all uh, evergreen type trees. I have some evergreens at home. They lose their needles every year. But they still don't give you any color. Your destination is ahead. Thank you, Jill. Good place as any to cut it off. Thanks for writing along.